Hey you guys, Ryan Harder here with Z-Man Fishing Products. Going to show you a really exciting new product with us this year. It's called the Hercules. So Z-Man has our proprietary Elastec material, but one thing we've never done is made a pre-rigged swim bait. So this year we've got our first pre-rigged swim bait with the Hercules. You'll see that we have two sizes. We have a four inch and a five inch. The four inch is built on a five watt Mustad Ultra Point hook, three eighths of an ounce, has a custom hanger, 3D eyes, really unique tail shape. We worked for a long time on that design to make sure that it kicks at both fast speeds and slow retrieves. And then on the five inch, same thing, but it's built around a seven knot Mustad Ultra Point, five eighths of an ounce, super detailed baits. We've come in eight really good looking colors. This is gonna be perfect for your snook, redfish, tarpon, your cobia, and even your bass, pike, freshwater, saltwater. This is a do all, heavy duty bait, super durable, and uh, check them out. So what is the swim action like? Does it have a wobble or is it a thumping tail and then a wobble with it? Exactly. So the tail action on this bait, like I said, we worked on it for a while and one thing we wanted was a very tight action. So this bait is just going to wobble back and forth. Really good action. But the key to it is that you can fish it at a really slow retrieve or a really fast retrieve and it'll keep that same wobbling kicking action the whole time. Without blowing out. Without blowing out, exactly. So how many, you said eight colors? Eight colors. What is retail? Price? Retail is $9.99. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, Zmanfishing.com. Zmanfishingproducts.com. Excellent. Thank you, dude. Yeah. Steve Chapman, get your fish on. Hey, we're here with Colton Jennings at the Jinko booth at ICAST. We got the Waken Bait and the Groovy Glide here, but this is a new material in the fishing industry. As you guys can see, that that is a hemp bait. It's made out of a plastic that is not an oil based product, it's a hemp based product. 100% biodegradable. Also, it is 100% safe to the environment. It's not full of oil like the other stuff. And it's a natural resource that comes out of America. You, you know, this is a grown in United States soil and it's coming into a bait. And it's, it's just cool, man. Like, it's cool. I want the industry to be able to see that there is alternatives to all nasty plastic. You know, you go to the fishing, you know, go fishing on the lake, lake comes down and there's hundreds of baits. It's been there for 25 years. I hate seeing that. It makes the lake look trash. You know it's not good for the lake. This right here is a new alternative to be able to make that stuff not happen anymore. Our lakes be cleaner and healthier lakes. How, uh, what size is that bait going to come in? So this bait is, it's about four inches long and then the, the groovy glide is going to be five inches. You look here. Yep. It's a three joint. And now see, is that out of hemp too? Yes, yeah, so this is out of hemp as well. You can see we just did the natural hemp color with some bars on it to make a gill color, but we can actually paint it in every color here besides a clear bait. So the only downfall is that you do not you're not able to make a clear bait, but any full you know colored bait you're allowed you, you can make it work. So how many colors do you think you're gonna have it in? We're gonna do ten. Ten both of them are gonna be ten? How much are the retail prices going to be? So the regular ABS model is twenty six dollars, and the hemp model is going to be right at forty. So swimming action. What's the swim action look like? Is it real? Okay. -shaped? So on the groovy glide, the three joint. The blessing of the three joint is you get a little bit of the glide action that you can work it slower and do the glide like a two, like a two piece bait. Yeah. But it also at a high speed will swim like a four or five piece bait. Yes. Nice. Now when are they going to be available? So they all should be available around the end of the year. End of the year. And where can they find them? You... Jinkofishing.com. Awesome. Thank yes, you, sir. Thank you, guys. This bro. The king of frogs. The king of frogs. Trademark, Steve Chapman. Joke. How's it going, guys? I'm Steve with Spro here. We're going to talk about some of the new frogs we got. First, we got the uh, Colorado Bronze Eye Blade Frog. It's going to be a nice little frog. We got a bunch of different colors there. This thing's going to be nice for reeling, twitching, anything like that. You can twitch it. The blades, they spin perfect when you're reeling it on there. Another thing, this is going to be a hot item, already is, is that elastomer flapping frog. It's got the nano smooth coating hook on it, so it's going to be like a nice high quality hook. Soft belly, so it's going to collapse when that fish comes up on top of it. Collapse is better than anything I've ever found. Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, this one compared to this one, it's just, yeah, it's soft too, it'll float. You rip a, like a hole in it, it's still going to float. Uh, another cool thing for a nice little like pond fishing, something like that, take around creek fishing is this nice little popper 40. You can see it compared to the 70, it's way smaller. So it's probably gonna be like a light 
spinning rod, something like that, take around to the pond. Another thing we added this year is the frog needle. So what you'll do here is this for replacing the skirts, uh, replacing the hooks, anything like that. Slide it in, throw that skirt on there, pop it out. You got a new skirt, you change out the skirts, any kind of colors. Um, and the hooks as well, you can change out the hooks. You need a sharper hook, old hook, anything like that. Your favorite frog, you don't want to change out the frog. Just put that new hook on there, new skirt, you're good to go. He doesn't know how to throw a frog anyway. Though, <laughs> so. When do these come out? Uh, these will be flapping frogs, going to be August 21st. Uh, Colorado blade frogs, going to be more like October or something. Where's like that. the apopka? get stuck in a tree frog. That's that one. Yeah. yeah. What, uh, you know about getting stuck in a tree in a popka, don't you? Exactly. How much are they gonna cost? Uh, they're gonna retail, it really depends on the location. They should retail, this one should be about 11, 12 bucks. Uh, I'd just like to say, just because this is us and he's left out, that's gonna be a nightmare for me to edit out. Yeah, yeah it is. And it he's is. Yamaha, he's a sponsor, so now he thinks he can. <laughs> okay, keep going, sorry. And then the blade's gonna be a little bit more, 13, 12, 13, 14, something like that. We awesome. haven't had set pricing yet, but how many colors? Oh, dude, a ton, a ton. Really? I mean, flapping frog, there'll probably be ten. Uh, Colorado blade frog, probably twelve, thirteen, something like that. So awesome! Thank you very much. Absolutely. Spro.com. Absolutely. Spro.com. Spro.com. Or any of your local dealers, something like that. Yeah. So. What's up guys, Captain Blair Wiggins here with Blair Wiggins Outdoors. ICAST 2021 right here in Orlando. And believe it or not, I finally have a product that I'm pushing out here that I absolutely love. Fell in love with this product, it's called the Retrax. And this is the Retrax right here. It's a, it's a retracting eyewear retainer that there's nothing else like it on the market. This is the locking model we have. You can tell it's a locking because it's seafoam green. And this one has three lockouts on it one lockout there and I believe that's the second lockout yeah one two three lockouts and to get it to go back in give it a slight tug and it goes back to the retracted position and when it's retracted like that and it's on your head it sits right there where your spine meets your skull if you didn't hear that it's right where your spine meets your skull and it sits in a little pocket there where you really cannot feel it behind you that is, doesn't interfere with your hat wearing, doesn't interfere if you pull up your uh, uh, face mask, a hoodie, you can wear this no problem because it's right there out of the way of everything. We also make <clears throat> a non-locking model that I love to wear with readers. And if you see this one, a lot non-locking model, it actually does not lock out whatsoever. So it's always got tension around your head and it stays up and out of the way. And when I'm ready to use my retracts, pull them off, put them up, and I'm done. Put those back down and put those up. I know they make those things with the little things right there, but you know, when I'm looking through my readers, I don't like to look through little things like that. I wanna see everything that I can possibly see, but it's the Retrax new 2021 right here at iCast and uh, get you some. How much are they gonna be? The Retrax sells for $24.95 and you can get it at getretrax.com. Right now. Right now. Awesome. Chapman, get your fish on. Frank, Yep. sorry, nice to meet you. You're with, tell me a little bit about yourself. 22.5 uh, Fishing uh, Mechanical Lures, and uh, I originally created the mechanic, first mechanical lure in 1988. Uh, had it in Walmart in quite a few places, and then later I got out of the business, went back to my law practice, uh, and then in the early 2000s I made uh, some additional mechanical lures, and then I got out again, and about four years ago, I decided I was going to make the best mechanical lure ever made, and I made the 22.5 Frog. 22.5 uh, has a special meaning, meaning in that the world record bass is 22 pounds, 4 ounces, and I designed this to break the world record someday, I hope. <laughs> and so uh, this is a, uh, the Frog model, which is the only one I have out right now. It has a lot of design, uh, I would say trade secrets, that I've developed over about 30 years, and I'm very proud of this, uh, of this uh, frog. So when you cast it, the line pulls out, uh, it does that? It does. So, and then, obviously that one's gonna run faster because it's not in the water. That's true. How long does that last? How many seconds does that last? This will go about 15 seconds in okay. the water, and then as soon as it starts to slow down, you just pop it like a, a like standard a chugger or popper, yeah. and it reactivates it, and you can 
continue to reactivate it all the way in. The goal there is to try to keep it in the strike zone. It's my belief that large fish are not going to waste energy chasing after things that they might not catch. And therefore, this lure will stay in the strike zone while kicking. I don't know if you can hear it, but it has a clicking sound too. Okay. And um, as you mentioned, Mr. McCandice uh, sent me a photo of uh, bass he was catching on it. And I was so impressed with that, I even incorporated his photo in a lot of my materials here. Yeah. And so, anyway, this is about the best that I can, well, it is the best I, I can do after 30 years of um, work on mechanical lures. I chose the frog because it's the most difficult to make. A fish is a little easier because it only has one appendage, which is a tail fin. This has two legs. It looks simple. And people might say, hey, you know, it looks like a toy. Believe me, it is far from a toy. It's extremely difficult to make, to hold up under um, fishing con actual fishing conditions. And it, again, it's the best that I've ever made in my 30 years of uh, mechanical is, lure design. Is the goal to pop it and then let it Absolutely, sit let, let it sit in the strike legs. zone. Absolutely, get it close to cover or whatever, and then just leave it until the big fish comes out to play and uh, and takes it. How many colors is it going to come in? Well, right now I've got um, two primary colors, but I have uh, yellow legs and I have an or uh, fluorescent yellow and fluorescent orange, but I also have a bubblegum uh, color, which a lot of people like. And those are the two colors that I have. Actually, it's three, but the frog body is the same on the orange and yellow legs. And then the bubble gum uh, has bubble gum head and uh, and legs. Now, and how much do they come to cost, and where can you find them? Right now, the only place that you can find them is on my website, which is www.mechanicallures.com. Uh, they're $39.95 for two, and that includes uh, priority shipping, which is about an $8 cost. So they're running about $15 each right now. Okay, cool. Again, your name? Frank. Pierce. P E A R C E. Awesome. Thank you for the thank you for the time. Not a problem. Thank you. Appreciate it. Hit like and subscribe. Take your um kids fishing.